Meanwhile, eight soldiers were killed and seven police officers kidnapped in two different attacks in northwest Pakistan. Now, this is as per reports quoting security officials. At least eight soldiers were killed after an attack in the Thira area of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Like I said, report citing an intelligence officer who was speaking on the condition of anonymity. Nine militants were also reported killed during the attack. The report said that the Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility for the attack. In a separate incident, unknown armed men kidnapped seven policemen from a check post on Monday night. Both attacks took place in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province that borders Afghanistan. The first incident happened in the Thira area, a mountainous region located in the Oraksai district in the, sus in the southern part of Khyber district. The attack on police check post happened in the Banu district. Now, Pakistan has witnessed a rise in attacks on security forces in recent days. On October 25th, the Pakistani Taliban claimed the responsibility for an attack where 10 police officers were killed. On Saturday, seven soldiers were killed by separatists in Pakistan's southwest Balochistan province. Now, this attack came a week after a bombing by the Baloch Nationalist Army, which killed 26 people, including 14 soldiers, at a train station in the provincial capital of Quetta. And for more, a correspondent, in fact, a Pakistan bureau chief, Anas Malik, is now joining us live from Islamabad. Anas, unknown armed men kidnapped seven policemen from a check post on Monday night. What more can you tell us about this recent rise in attacks on the security personnel in Pakistan? Well, there is, this is a major security breach that has happened where uh, a check post in the suburbs of Bannu, which also is near to the Afghanistan-Pakistan border and on across is Nangarhar, is uh, where this uh, attack took place, where at least 40 to 50 armed assailants, as what is being said, uh, uh, attacked the check post. And they took, uh, they just not attacked the check post, but in fact, they also uh, abducted and took hostage uh, uh, and ha in fact have kidnapped uh, the seven Policemen guarding that very check post itself. They fl they flown away uh, with uh, the uh, official weapons and armory that was there at the check post itself. Now, while the police say that they have cordoned off and launched a search operation in the area, it is also pertinent to note that no formal terrorist group has claimed responsibility of this very attack as well. Now, Bannu, which is in the northwest uh, province of the country, as I said, it borders Afghanistan as well, has been a hotbed of recent attacks where which. Both both have been claimed by uh, the Islamic State Khorasan province, ISKP, and uh, tehreek -e taliban Pakistan. Now, particularly with regards to uh, the rise in terrorism, today there is a security mood that is to get underway in about two to three hours from now at the Prime Minister House, uh, which will have the Army Chief, the Heads of Intelligence, including the DGISI, um, and uh, senior government officials in participation, headed by uh, the uh, Prime Minister himself. It will also have the four Chief Ministers, including the Chief Minister of Khyber in participation uh, where a, a, a collective strategy would be devised going forward with regards to tackling the recent mean rise in the meanness of terrorism in the country. Anas, what are your sources telling you who could be responsible for this? Well, as I said, uh, it, it is a bit too early to say because kidnappings has been a hallmark of the Tariq Taliban Pakistan, uh, but so has been the case when it comes to ISK as well. Uh, uh, and in Bannu, which borders with Afghanistan as well, so uh, uh, it could be one of the two, uh, one of the two groups. Uh, no group as yet has claimed responsibility, uh, but uh, we're already 12, 12 uh, 15 hours into the kidnapping that has taken place. Uh, so as we understand, uh, a, a full, full-fledged operation has been launched and we're awaiting more details with regards to uh, as to who could be behind it from authorities. Thank you so much, Anas, for joining us yet again with those details. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.